Welcome to the Brass and Woodwind Shop. Some French horn players like coins soldered to the end of the levers. Usually people use a dime, but if you're from another country and you do not have dimes, any small coin will do. My customer wanted me to put on this. It's an Irish half penny. Ask the customer if they want heads or tails. This one has a funny shaped bird and it says one half P or half penny on the heads. The tail has the date and a harp. My customer said he wanted both, so I'm going to do one with the heads and the half penny on it. And then since it has the harp, I'm going to do two tails. In order to solder, you need clean metal with no lacquer on it. The lacquer has already been worn off over the years on this, but if you did have lacquer, what you'd do is put the coin where it needs to go, and then mark where the lacquer needs to come off. You can remove the lacquer by buffing it off using sandpaper, or you can scrape it off with a triangular knife that looks like this. Be careful only to get the part that will be underneath where the coin is. Now I'm going to clamp the coin on using a solder clamp. I'm going to put it right in the middle and I'm going to make sure it's facing the right direction and make sure it's exactly the way you want it. And then this one is heads. So I'm going to put that one there and again. And then tails for the last one. The coins are centered and they are just how I want them, so I'm ready to solder now. I'm going to use an acetylene torch to do this job, but you can also use a blazer torch too. Now I'm going to heat this up and put some flux on it. I'm using acid liquid flux. You can also use uh, the flux core if you want. That works too. That wasn't the best solder joint I've ever done, but it will work. I'll clean it up later. Then heat it up, put some flux on it, and then heat it up a little more. Put some solder in there and get it, run it underneath. There we go. That was a far better solder joint than the first one. Then a little more heat, a little more flux, some more heat. And that's good. I'm checking the back side to see if there's enough solder. It looks like I'm going to need to put more solder on the first and third. So I'm going to heat that up again. And then put some more solder in there. Usually you need to be careful not to put too much solder in. But this one takes a little bit more solder than most solder joints just because the coins usually are not flat with the lever. Usually there's a curve in there, but I think that's good now. It is a few minutes later and I gave this time to cool off. Now I'm going to neutralize the flux. I have a trombone spray bottle with four parts water and one part ammonia in it, and that neutralizes the acid in the flux. Now I'm going to wipe that off. A little bit of solder went where it was not supposed to go, so I'm going to heat and wipe that. And I'm going to be careful not to overheat it because then the coin will just fall off. Now I'm going to buff off the little bit of remaining solder. And I'm going to buff it by hand. I don't want to do damage to the coins. Um, I can use the machine to buff it too, but this way is a little gentler to the coins. There it is. The job is all done. Look in the description below for links to where you can get some of the tools and supplies mentioned in this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos.